good morning and welcome back to the Schooner Morning Show. I'm your host, Mark Brevo, and I am here today with Adria Hanel. We are going to interview Adria and talk a little bit about uh, her so we can get to know her a little bit. Uh, Adria, welcome to the show and thank you very much for coming down today. Thank you, Mark. Yes. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, like, where were you born? I, <clears throat> I was born in Lewiston, Maine in 1953. Um, I went to Pet, Pettengill School, Montello School, and Lewiston High School. And then when I graduated from Lewiston, I went four years to uh, UMaine and Orono. Ah. I studied history, which probably didn't do me any good, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> and uh, then I went to Catherine Gibbs School in Boston, which is a secretarial school. Right. For nine months. And um, I got... I, I didn't graduate because I had lousy, um, I did not have good shorthand, but I learned a lot of things still. Right, right, and shorthand was huge back then, wasn't it? Yeah. Being able to take shorthand? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, anyway, and after I graduated from Catherine Gibbs, I went back to the family uh, business, which is Hanel Brothers or Roofing and Sheet Metal. Well, yes, we know them well. Hanel Brothers, Roofing and Sheet I had no idea that that was your family. Yeah. Uh, my grandfather started it back in 1910. Well, in the early 1920th century. And then my father took over, and now my brother is the president. That is wonderful. That is really nice. That, that's a, a long history of a great family business. It's one of the best places to work. It's, yeah, it's, really yeah, it's a great place. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about Handel Brothers. Wow. I, I guess I have a different view having worked for them, but... We always do, don't we, when we're in the organization? Yeah. We don't always uh, see things in the best light. No. But that's an amazing history. Petten Hill School has been torn down. Have you been over to yeah. see the beautiful park they made? Yes. Over there, and they left the sign up for Petten Hill School. I thought that was great. Yeah. And now... Montello Middle School is Montello Elementary School. Right. And I think, gee, has time passed. And the high school is now the middle school. I know. Because you probably went to uh, the school right diagonally across from Bates College uh, as a high school. Yeah. And it had the lumps in the floor. <laughs> That's a great piece of history. The lumps in the floor. Yeah. Well, yeah. one one student broke his or no, he broke his leg on one. No kidding. Yeah. But anyway. So you went you went back to the family business and worked for the family business for how long? Thirty years. Thirty years. Well, I was in the office. I started out as secretary. Then I did various jobs. I ended up doing bookkeeping, which I wasn't good at. <laughs> and finally, in 2009, I think my brother laid me off with two other people because it was slow. Yeah. And come to find out, he laid a number of people off who I thought were good people, good working people, and they knew their trade, and I just thought he was losing a lot of good people, but that's my opinion. Right. In 2009, if I remember right, 
2008, we had a huge downturn in the economy. Yeah. And a lot of places were laying off just because the work wasn't there. Nobody was really doing any uh, any fix it projects or building projects or anything, if I remember right. I know my my retirement account took quite a hit. I'm sure everybody's did. Yeah, it did. So, uh, tell me, what did you do for fun over the years? What uh, what did you have for hobbies? Did you do any traveling? Or? Oh yeah. Um. I traveled to Italy the senior year in high school, went to Rome, Florence, and Capri, and then in the 80s, I went, did I go twice? I went to Germany. We started out in Rudersheim and ended up in Bamberg, but it was at the time that the communists had East. Oh boy. East um, uh, Germany. Yeah, yeah. And we went to Czechoslovakia and East Germany. And that was quite an experience. And the wall was still up at that time. Yeah. And they let you come in and go out? Yeah, but once we went in, they took our passport. So that you, you had to come back to them. Right. Yeah. Did they question you about uh, what you may have seen or heard? And No, the, the only thing they said was that you couldn't take the money out. And I think that was Czechoslovakia, but they stressed it in Germany. So, I did. But anyway... Um, Uh, our bus driver, he, in West Germany, he could speed all he wanted to. But once we got to, to the communist countries, he slowed down to the speed that was there. Oh, wow. Well, he didn't want to be taken in. So, in the communist country, he was afraid to break the law because they'd arrest him and take him to a jail and possibly never see him again. Right. Isn't that amazing? I shouldn't laugh. That's very sad and probably still going on today. But in West Germany, he wasn't as worried about getting caught because it might mean a fine or yeah. what have you. But in East Germany, you didn't know what the consequences might be. That's right. Wow. That is very interesting. And in Czechoslovakia, the, the God said, you may think you're being looked over your shoulder here. It's worse in Germany. And you actually did. You thought someone was looking over your shoulder, and you'd look around and no, you didn't see anyone. Isn't that something? Kind of a mind game. Yeah. You know, just to keep you in line that uh, people are watching and you may not necessarily know it. Yeah. Do you remember Italy much? How was Italy? I, that's something that I'm very envious you got to go see. I, I think Italy would be a great country to visit. Oh, it is. We, our base was Rome, and um, we saw the Sistine Chapel, St. Peter and Paul's, uh, David's uh, sculpture, uh, Michel Michelangelo's sculptures. Yeah. Um, they even had a side trip to the catacombs. I didn't. I didn't go because I went to Florence and Capri, and Florence was beautiful with the Duomo, and. Um, you said that perfectly. Oh. I've heard that name many times, and you've said it perfectly. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, and uh, they had what they call the Gold Bridge. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that? The Gold Bridge, no. Well, on the bridge, all they sell is gold jewelry and nice. gold, gold stuff. Yeah. And it's at a reduced price. Deals. Yeah. Right. 
When you hear gold bridge, my first thought is a bridge made of gold. But it makes sense that they would call it the gold bridge because they sell lots of gold jewelry on that bridge. Yeah. 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 And in Capri, yeah, Capri was something. It's an island and uh, we took a Chinese ship over. Uh, yeah, we took a Chinese ship over. And once we got in the van, he went up the to the top. Well, every time he, the driver of the van came to this huge mirror, he would beep his horn. And he kept beeping his horn every time he came to the mirror. And I said, why is he doing that? And someone said, someone in the group said, well, he's trying to warn the people coming down. Oh my goodness. Which means you could have had a head-on collision. Right. Oh. Oh boy. And it was like driving up Mount Washington. Yes. I've done that a few times. So the roads are narrow and, and they've got the cliffs right on the side. And if you make a wrong move, it could be detrimental to your health. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Well, Adria, we're having quite an interview here. This is great to hear about your travels and things like that. Oh, thank you. Do you have Do you have any hobbies, or what is there that you might like your friends and neighbors here at Schooner to know about you? Well, I studied piano for a number of years, and I have meant to get out to play the piano, but I'm shy because or I'm afraid of playing in people because it makes me stage fright. Oh, stage fright. But anyway, I play the piano. I've done cross stitch, kind of cross stitch, uh, embroidery. Uh, um, my mother taught us, my sister and I to sew. Yeah. So I do a lot of sewing. Um, just about any needlework. And um, what else? Oh, I like to swim. Um, and I played in the band in high school. Wonderful, wonderful. We have a piano downstairs where you could be pretty much alone to play. Nobody would hear you. Yeah. If you ever want to use it, it's there for you to do that. Right. Probably in this living room here in the Camden building, there'd be other people around. So, um, Although a few tenants do play it from time to time. Yeah, I heard, I think it is... Mac. Mac. Mac Brackett, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he plays all the pianos in the whole place. Wow. Sometimes you'll catch him in the Tenants Harbor Room or down in the Village Green and up here in the living room. I think yesterday he was playing the piano. Yeah. Yeah. He's really, he's great. He enjoys it. He really enjoys it. He does a great job and he's fun to listen to. Yeah. Yeah. Is. Yeah. And we have quite a, a craft group here when it comes to needlework and, and knitting and things like that. Unfortunately, since COVID hit us in March, we haven't been able to meet, but... I'm trying to figure out a way that maybe physically distance that group could get together again going oh. forward. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. So I hope there are folks out there listening to some of your hobbies. And we have some people out there that probably will reach out and, and say hello and, uh, and maybe get you involved in, in the, knitting, the knitting group. Yeah. And please play the piano whenever you want. Okay. I think that's wonderful. Okay. Well, our guest today has been Adria Hanel. Um, very, very nice lady, as I'm sure you just witnessed as well as I did. Um, remember that we are trying to interview everyone, so your turn is coming. Let us know if you're interested, and we'll get you down here. We never make anybody do anything, but um, every Tuesday and Thursday morning at 10.05, roughly, on the Schooner Channel 1390. 
Once again, this has been the Morning Schooner Morning Show with your host, Mark Prevo, and I hope everybody enjoys their day.